Hello and welcome back to week six of the Open SAP course, Introduction to Statistics for Data Science. In this unit, we'll be looking at how statistics can help in the real world. Every day in our professional and personal lives, we're faced with making decisions, um, but the, the data that should feed those um, decisions are often huge and complex. You can use statistics to simplify this complexity in order to, keep, in order to summarize data, um, make comparisons, forecast the future, test claims and hypotheses, um, check probabilities. Let's look at examples of, um, of each of these. Statistics to summarize data enable you to gain an understanding of large volumes of data. For example, you may want to calculate the average of how much it costs students to go to university or the average pay for men and women. Average pay can be skewed by those at the top. Therefore, you may want to use the median, the middle value. Or you may also want to calculate the spread around the, uh, around the mean using standard deviation to understand the range of pay from top to bottom. There are four major types of descriptive statistics. Firstly, measures of frequency, so count, percentage, frequency. Measures of central tendency, so the mean, median, and mode. Measures of dispersion or variation, so range, variance, standard deviation, and measures of position, so percentile, ranks, and quartile. Statistics can be used to compare two means or two distributions. You might want to con um, confirm if two means are significantly different from each other, and perhaps your mean is almost the same for two sets of, of uh, showing exam results for two class groups, you can then use standard deviation to check whether the, the spreads are significantly different. There are lots of useful calculators available on the internet. You can also make these comparisons using MS Excel or using R or Python or a range of other statistical software. A valuable use of statistics within SAP solutions, such as SAP Analytics Cloud, allow you to use historical data to predict the future. SAP solutions make this simple and easy to use. A couple of examples. Linear regression allows you to understand how much of the change in one variable can be explained by the change in another. This approach can be used to make predictions about the future. For example, how much of the change in sales of children's buckets and spades can be explained by weather change? Time series analysis is also a useful way of predicting the future values based on historical data. Identifying trends and seasonal variations over time. We will present more about SAP solutions in an upcoming unit. You use hypothesis testing to challenge whether a claim about a population is true. For example, a claim that men are paid more than women. To test a statistical hypothesis, you take a sample, collect data, form a statistic, standardize it to form a test statistic, and decide whether the test statistic refutes the claim. Probability is a notion which you can use to deal with uncertainty. If an event can have a, a, a number of outcomes and you don't know for certain which outcome will occur, you can use probability to describe the likelihood of each of the possible events. When you analyze probability, you can establish the likelihood of an event. There is a 30% chance of rain tomorrow. Based on how poorly the interview went, it is unlikely I will get the job. Since it is 10 degrees Celsius outside, it's impossible that it will snow. You have seen some simple examples to understand probability, but there are many real-world applications. 
weather forecasting, insurance claims, predictive text on, on mobile phones. To summarize, now that you understand the fundamentals of these statistical approaches, you are in a position to use them in the real world. Summarize, can I see my way through this um, mass of numbers? Compare, how is one group of, of people treated in comparison to another, e.g. access to resources, pay, jobs, etc. Forecast, how much influence does the temperature have on my sales of, of winter clothes? How much stock should I buy? Test claims and hypotheses, for example, are men paid more than women. Check probabilities. What's the probability of having a certain disease given a positive result in a test that is not perfectly accurate? In the next unit, we will consider how to critically evaluate reports.